Pacha Williams, the real mum, and today we are talking what's in my car boot. So we've got a very busy uh, weekend coming up. Uh, Ned will be taking two bulls across to Walgett and Ningen show, and I will be taking the kids um, across to Wellington for the Wellington show. Uh, so um, we've got the school showing some of our heifers and cow and calf and one of our bulls down there. And then we've also got my sister's baby shower and Mother's Day celebrations with my family. So very busy weekend coming up. So while the boys are at daycare today and I have baby girl here with me, we're just going to get some things sorted, pack the car, and uh, we'll continue on our little journey together so we're gonna pack the car and I'll show you the types of things that we are packing and go over our tips again from our video on how to survive a rural agricultural show if you missed that video I'll tag it in the section below so let's get packing and we'll talk through the plan and the steps for the show this weekend come with me so now what I'll do is I'll re-smooth out the picnic rug that we use in the back of the car and that means if I'm picking up bull feed, show feed, fertiliser, um, anything that needs picking up from in town for animals or kids or anything like that, that nothing leaks through into the carpet. So I love using a picnic rug because it's got that plastic backing which stops some leaking through and it's nice and soft um, for climbing in and out but it also means that it will slightly grab rather than move around on that back carpet as well for whatever has stacked in there. So I'll put back in what's currently there that we'll need for this weekend and then we will do some more recon inside and I'll bring that out when it's ready to go in. Last year at the show I only had two kiddos so I used a blue uh, trolley cart. I'll insert a picture here of what that looked like. Uh, this year because I have the three and it is predicted to be very cold I'll be taking a combination of both a baby carrier and the double pram and have that set up for usage for both the um, the click in click out uh, baby. baby seat capsule as well as for the second seat just in case at last minute I decide to wear baby girl inside my weather jacket or whether I decide to put her in the pram we'll we take you along on the day and we'll see what combination we get up with so in the other video that I did that would be option two so trans transport mobility what setup we have because we're not 100% on the weather I'm just going to pack for all scenarios and we'll see what combination feels right when we get there So it's four o'clock in the morning and we Ned's just left to go and get and load the bulls up uh, ready for the Walcott show and head out that way and I'm about to wake up the boys get them fed get them dressed and get them in the car and we'll head in the opposite direction out to Wellow show it's gonna be a busy weekend and uh, Ned will end up at the Ningen show on Sunday and I'll end up in Wellington overnight and uh, for my sister's baby shower and then on to Mother's Day breakfast and then all back to the farm to continue looking after all our animals um, we've got someone lined up to check in on them today in the farm so that's another thing we don't have to think about um, um, so I'll see you in a little bit when I've got everyone sorted and we're on the road. Just stunning morning here. We are ready to get in the car and start heading to the show. And the cat has just caught a mouse. There it goes. So I have everybody in the car, all kids are fed, dressed 
and ready to go. I'm gonna go back inside and do one more lap through the house, make sure we've got everything, take a moment to think about anything I may have forgotten and we'll go from there. We have left the house and we are now en route to the Wellington show. Uh, we will go back over our Steps for Surviving an Agricultural Rural Show. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will pop it in the description um, below. And so we've gone over our attack and plan for the day, set our expectations. We have selected our mode of transport and mobility. Um, we will be using just the pram today because it is actually quite a mild, beautiful day. Um, part of our hold fast tactic today is actually to meet up with my family. So we're going to meet up with them uh, at the show uh, to try and slow things down and enjoy that interaction. The kids don't get to see them very often. And um, then we're going to have one ride each before heading across to setting up for the baby shower. We've arrived at the Wellington show. Now it's time to get the pram out. I'm going to get the pram out, pack it, and then I'm going to get the kids out. They're nice and safe and settled in the car and they're happy to be there. So while they're like that, I'll get them out last. this one it's great to get one for your kids and then write your mobile number on it so if they do get run away then they still have the mobile number for someone to be looking for. We've gotten home from all the shows. It's been a massive weekend. The kids are inside. I've just put something on the TV for them so I can unpack the car. I've got my little unpacking buddy. There you are. Get the cars unpacked and uh, we'll see you in another video. We hope that you enjoyed following us along for another Agricultural Raw show and all the tips and tricks that we have followed. Anything that I've mentioned in this video will be in the links below. Have a happy Mother's Day. Um, this will be coming out the weekend after Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to you all and we'll see you in another video. Mm -hmm.